You think of fall sports in Colorado, football, obviously, volleyball, mm -hmm. soccer probably all come to mind, but there's a new kid mm -hmm. on the block. The popularity of eSports is soaring. Uh, for the first time ever, eSports is now an officially sanctioned high school sport in Colorado. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn continues his two-part series this morning on the rise of competitive video gaming. Last night after the Broncos game, we highlighted the world of eSports, now an officially sanctioned sport under CHASA, the Colorado High School Activities Association. So let's step back into the world of eSports in this 360 report. We're further breaking down the stereotypes, exploring the idea of big money careers for these students. And we start by myth busting about girls in the sport. You need to trust me. If you thought eSports was another boys club, I feel good about Maggie on Lulu. Think again. I've just always really liked video games. It's just been always my favorite way to relax. I've been following eSports, I think, like three, maybe four years. Sophia Larea, Rose Hosmer, and their teammates at Highlands Ranch High School are breaking the mold, so to speak. For the most part, the Mario Kart team is mostly girls. Last semester, I coached one of our League of Legends teams. As eSports gains popularity, the sport is attracting players of all types. I was addicted to that game. And it's giving many students an opportunity to showcase sideline skills only now getting their time to shine. It is a non-traditional sport, but there is a lot that it has in common with traditional team sports. Strategy, teamwork, communication skills are a really huge part of this. Yeah, Master Yi is good, so we've got Zed. Alexandra Bach is the head esports coach at Cherry Creek High School. And Aiden's gonna go in at ADC, right? Where esports was already a huge provisional sport here before it became official under Chassa. League of Legends, Rocket League, Smash, Overwatch, Mario Kart, and we just added Splatoon. We've won three state titles. We want, yeah. She says the great thing about esports is its accessibility to both big and small schools. You don't need a ton of equipment or fields or space. You just need a computer and kids that have a passion for the game. Well, I took a start. That passion, after all, is why sports and activities exist in schools in the first place. I took a poll at the beginning of last semester, which is the first time I'd ever done esports, and I said, how many of you do something currently? And I only had two hands go up that were involved in anything else in the building. Oh, you're here. Ponderosa head <laughs> esports coach Jason Cross. So I'm having everybody sit with their team. And principal Ryan Hollingshead <laughs> say that's what this is all about, expanding opportunity. To get kids connected to the school, to get them to be part of something bigger than themselves, you know, and, and to learn some of those life skills, and they're totally getting that in esports. Which is now acting as a gateway for some kids to explore other passions. And now they're in bands, they're in tennis. I do hockey. We bring those kids together more than any other organization I've ever been a part of. Rocket Leaguers, anytime we can provide opportunity and access to kids, it, it's going to be a good thing. It's all around. If you ask the kids themselves, many see this as an opportunity in college and beyond. For Smash, Last season, if you were the tournament winner, you'd get a scholarship for winning. For the game I play, Overwatch, there's a lot. There's the Collegiate League. The Navy has a, Le a League of Legends team. I'd love to go play pro, but that's a long, long way away. Based on what the district has set up. Next semester, Mr. Cross was talking about going semi-national, and supposedly we'd have like more colleges looking at us with more with opportunities for scholarships. So this is definitely like big. My plan is CU Boulder. Video game programmer, developer something. Riot really interests me. They're a very cool company. Now that it's growing, people can finally call it maybe like, a, maybe go through a career path in it. They say that if you work a job that you love, you never work a day in your life. But I'd recommend watching the Smash Tech. A new generation of students unlocking pent up potential in the multi-billion dollar cyber world of esports. Russell Haythorn. Denver 7. Oh. Wow. Well, you can see Russell's full report on esports on denver7.com.